How's it going everyone, Oathkeepersora here, and we are back with a new playthrough for Final Fantasy XIII. Now this is probably like the 10 or 20th billionth time I've done this on my channel. No, I'm kidding, it's only like the, f <laughs> only like the fourth. <laughs> they keep getting taken down. Anyway, I'm playing this game on Steam, and it appears that the controller type doesn't want to display the buttons for me, which is not good. Um, yeah, I'm playing this on the Steam version. So as far as I'm aware, like, everything is exactly the same as, I think it's the Xbox 360 version, it takes all the pre-rendered cutscenes from the Xbox 360 version, which is a bit weird because the PS3 version had them all at higher resolution, but whatever. The, uh, everything else though should be running at 60 FPS, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, like with all my playthroughs, I will be talking throughout most of the gameplay and being quiet through the cutscenes. I do this because I like people to actually hear what's going on in the cutscenes and I find it annoying myself when people talk through cutscenes and I'm trying to listen to the audio. So uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll be playing on normal mode. I didn't even know there was any other mode other than normal mode, so yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be playing on that game, on that game mode. As for how much of the content I'm going to be doing, I will uh, obviously do all the story and I'm thinking of doing all the Seaf Stones as well, but that Seaf Stone may change because I know there's a lot of grinding involved. But um, yeah, that's the aim, to do the whole story and do all the Seaf Stones. So uh, yeah, with that said, hopefully everything is good. Let's jump on into the story and enjoy this epic opening. Thirteen days after we awoke, were the beginning of the end. Serious? Be quiet. <laughs> Best of luck.
Alright, so we got the first battle and it's going to briefly introduce us to the very basic battle system for now. For now, the battle system is very basic right now at the start, but it gets, it opens up a lot more in like chapter 3 I think. So um, yeah, there's a lot more strategy involved later on. Anyway, so time flows continuously throughout battle. Watch as your ATB gauge slowly charges. Similar to like FF7, imagine that bar in FF7 charges. Well, uh, in this one you have like multiple bars, so for every bar that fills it gives you an attack basically. So, let's watch it fill. Okay, characters perform actions by expending charged ATB se gauge segments. The actions which they perform depend on the commands you select. So, you can input an entire string of commands then unleash them all at once. So if you want to do a big combo, let the bar fill up completely and then uh, wreck havoc on uh, the enemies. Select auto battle to queue up a set of commands tailored to your situation. Select abilities to specify individual commands as you see fit. A description of each command will be displayed at the top of the screen. For now, try selecting auto battle c command. Move the cursor to auto battle, then press. It's going to be X for me because I'm on PS4 controller. So then press X to select it. Two attack actions have just been placed in your command queue. As you learn new abilities, you will use commands other than attack. It will also become possible to create longer strings of commands. Next, you will need to choose the target of your attacks. When fighting multiple enemies, select your targets using the direction pad, I guess, and then press X to confirm it. You only face one, em one enemy this time, so the choice is simple. Press X to confirm your target and you will execute the two attacks immediately. Once you have finished your attacks, enter more commands and continue fighting until you have defeated the enemy. Note that you will only be able to control the actions of Lightning. Saz will fight on his own, support her as he deems best. Good luck from here on out. How you fight is up to you. So, um, so we do actually get more, uh, more party members obviously later on. Oh shit, I walked straight into that. This is not going well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, basically who you control is who is the current party leader. So, uh, I, know, I, thought that, I thought the little swords were going to hit me again. So, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll get chances to play with everyone throughout the story. Wouldn't be a Final Fantasy otherwise, would it? we're coming in for round two so um we are sort of thrown into the story right here and all we really know is that we're about to get like purged or some shit uh so basically the idea of this whole purge thing is that anyone that is a he's a lessee which is explained a little later on is like basically sent to this underworld called Pulse and that is supposedly like really bad down here and we don't want that <laughs> use a potion quickly I owe ya. so yeah we, we don't want to go Pulse we oh man so, yeah, we, we want to goddamn fight for our lives and kill this thing it doesn't want to die Thank you, Saz. Yep. And then we get a battle results screen. So, it gives you like a target time. It gives you a goal, basically, to aim for when you're uh, when you're in battle. 
and you get points based on it and you get a star rating system. Now the star rating system will give you multipliers to drop rates. Uh, there's, there's items called Shroud which have their multiplier gained from getting less stars. So yeah, Shrouds are good but also you want the other spoils as well that you can get from having higher star rating. supposed to protect civilians soldier I mean you are sanctum aren't you what are you doing trying to stop the purge why don't you tell me that I was a soldier hey where do you think you're going hey. chocobo we just can't catch a break can we yeah that's a good question Alright, we're introduced to the Hanging Edge, which is where everything is taking place right now. Alright, so we want to keep that as standard because, oh my god, I cannot, I honestly cannot stand inverted camera controls. And now we have the data log. You possess an advanced digital journal known as the data log that autonomously streams information deemed pertinent. Whenever the data log records a new entry, a new note, oh, a notice will appear in the upper left corner of the screen to peruse entries. Press, I think it's triangle for me, to open the main menu and then select data log. So let's do that right now. Uh, we're not going to go over everything. So basically you can see like all the tutorials based on, uh, well, everything that you get in the game. And you get some enemy intel as well. But the, the main one is the events. So the events are basically going to give you a summary of everything that's currently happening in the story. Um... <clears throat> You could, th if for any Kingdom Hearts fans sure, out there, you could probably think of the data log as sort of like uh, the report systems in the Kingdom Hearts games where you get like Xemnas reports and some reports, like all of that. Uh, right here we've got save point, but don't need that right now. So, um, yeah. Uh, okay, enemy encounters. Many and various enemies stalk the roads that you must travel. Upon entering an enemy's detection radius, the minimap in the upper right corner of the screen will flash in warning. Coming into contact with any enemy will initiate a battle. <clears throat> so, yeah, you may have guessed then. This game does not have random encounters, but instead you basically pick what battles you want. Um, anyway, as I was saying about the the data log. I I sort of think of this game as having what oh well two stories. There's the main story that we are told throughout the game, which in my opinion isn't told that brilliantly. But there is also like an underlying story, and that is told within the data log. So it's similar to like Ansem's story basically, or Xehanort's story in um, in Kingdom Hearts. So, the data log is kind of like required to understand the entire story and basically what you put into this game is what you're going to get out. <laughs> if you want to put the time into the game, then you may enjoy the story. If, um, if you sort of are the sort of person that is just like, oh, I can't be asked to invest into the game. I just want, I just want the story to just be the story and told to me through the game. Then you're probably going to come away from this game feeling very confused. I'll admit, I was one of those people the first time I played this game. I was very confused about what was happening in the story and some of the terminology used. But I will try my best to explain everything as I go through the game. So hopefully, people aren't as or won't be as confused as I was my first time playing through the game. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, you can you can skip a lot of these fights because you may have noticed that we don't actually get 
any XP right now. Not wanting to get purged, I get. But taking on trained soldiers? Uh. Better to die than get sent to Pulse. It's hell for the Yeah, well, hell's not sounding too bad. Because this place ain't exactly paradise. Domesticated peacekeepers. Nothing to worry about. Maybe not for a soldier girl, but I'm trying to say. Hey, hey, hey! hey! So yeah, a lot of these enemies don't really give us any XP for now. All they, all we can really get right now is just um, basically items. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep spamming blitz because I can hit both of them. One blitz is strong. Oh, I can hit both of them. God damn it! One blitz is stronger than um, two attacks. So yeah, on two enemies at least. Use blitz as like single target attack, then it's not going to do as much as two attacks, obviously. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so we got five stars there. So we got wicked fang and chipped fang. Those are beast materials. They're used later on in the game for upgrading items. They've got a counterpart, which is like machine or mechanical parts. And uh, yeah, we'll go into that later on because right now it's pretty irrelevant. Let's come up. Oh man, there was a sneaky enemy right there, and I walked straight into him. Damn it! Uh, he jump back. Oh yeah, you Rick. You gonna run forwards? I think I missed him. God, Saz might actually die. I don't think I've ever had it where Saz has died. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I see a lot of complaints about the battle system in this game, how the game just plays itself, basically. Uh, I mean, like, that is the case, yeah, if um, you do just, like, select auto battle. Wait, was there actually, like, an item back here? No, there wasn't. Yeah, I mean, if you just want to let the game play itself, then, yeah, I mean, it is pretty boring, and the fights will drag out a lot as well. But, uh, oh man, there's a big old battle going on down there. Oh, sh Jesus Christ, that behemoth just fucked everything up down there. So, yeah, as I was saying, if, you just, if you're just an auto-battle person, then the game is going to be pretty boring, as it doesn't pick the best options for fights and whatnot. I'll probably give you an example of that right now. Like, it's giving me two attacks, but there's three enemies. Oh, Blitz is obviously better right now. So if I use Blitz, then obviously it's going to be a lot better. And there we go. Whereas obviously spamming attack on them all is just going to be slow. So, but as I was saying, this is like the bare bones right now. It gets a lot better at chapter three. Maybe if Lightning didn't shout out preemptive strike, we could have got a preemptive strike. <laughs> anyway, items. This is really self explanatory. <laughs> Go to items, press the item you want to use, and then use it. But right now, I can't use Blitz because the, the enemies aren't close enough, really. Man, I keep getting hit and flinching. Oh no. Yeah, I can probably actually skip ahead of skip ahead of the fights now because I don't think there's really anything that I can really get decently. So uh, let's just mosey on forwards. Holy shit! Missile of destruction. Do we turn back? There's no time. Then what do you suggest we do? Quiet. Let go! The hell no! You're my only way out of here! 
Man, lightning is angsty as fuck in the start of this game. <laughs> she just beat the shit out of Saz just because he didn't want her to go. Oh man, we can we can try and dodge all these enemies right here. Oh man, this isn't gonna happen. Oh god. Oh well, we get to spam blitz. Boom. Let's try and get them all. So far, so good though. Care of that dude. Okay. Spamming my blitz. Okay. There we go. So if you press triangle, you can actually execute your action before the gauge fills the whole way up. See, I mean, we did that in a third of the time, so that was pretty good. Um, Alright, so we gotta go down there. I got a save point here though, so. I think I will save up. And. Work in order. I, think, I think I'll leave this episode here. I think I'll end it off right now. So. If you if you have played this game, let let me know your thoughts on this game in the comments or something, because I'm interested in knowing exactly like how you guys felt about the game whether you enjoyed it whether you thought it was just like meh or boring but uh yeah i'm interested in knowing so please uh comment down below let me know your thoughts on the game and i will see you all in the next episode take care guys and peace